how much should I be putting to debts that we aren't focusing our snowball on? Should I just pay the minimum payment that the bank says I need to pay? But what if I have a debt that I'm so far ahead on that the bank says I don't have to pay anything? Should I still pay? I just don't get this minimum payment debt snowball thing. Hey there, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I are currently paying off $300,000 worth of debt using Dave Ramsey's snowball method. Are you using the snowball method too? If so, oh, leave me a thumbs up and let me know. We've been on our debt-free journey for close to two years now, and in that time, we have paid off almost $140,000 worth of debt, almost halfway, for reals this time. No more surprises. If you don't know what I'm talking about, link, eye thingy, check it out. So I had this question from day one. Why? Because I feel like I always need to know the exact details, and I really want an exact plan to follow. I bet you're like me too. Or maybe you're not. So when Dave Ramsey says make only minimum payments to all of your debts except the one you're focusing your snowball on, what does he mean by minimum payments? Does he mean what the bank says are minimum payments? Does he mean what the bank said was your minimum payment last month? Does he mean what the bank said your minimum payment was when you started your debt snowball? Or does it change from month to month? But what about every month as you go along and your minimum payments get lower and lower and lower? Are you supposed to be changing them every month? This is exactly what I mean using one of our debts as an example. When we started our debt-free process, our minimum payment to our credit card was $252 a month. We owed $14,000 on our credit card, and I kind of rounded the minimum payment up to $260 because I like whole round numbers. No real other reason than that. So check this out. That means we would be paying off this credit card in full 30 years from the day we started paying it off. 30 years. Let me emphasize, 30 years. And that $14,000 would become $33,000 that we paid over time. That thought is sickening to me. Like, full-on nauseating. And thanks to Bankrate.com for letting me use their minimum payment calculator for these overlays for this nauseating math scenario. So in month two, that means we had a choice to make. Do we do an exact minimum payment, a minimum payment that has been rounded up based on the bank's exact minimum payment, or do we go ahead and keep the $260 we paid the previous month? We opted to keep the $260 payment for the entirety of our debt-free journey. As a result, it's almost two years later, and our minimum payment on that credit card is zero. We're months ahead. Months. And our balance right now is $10,000-ish. So going back to bankrate.com, what does that change in payment do to our overall payoff? Check this out. That 30-year payoff has dropped from $33,000 to $23,000 just by sticking with the exact same payment. That is the power of paying the exact same amount every month. But we aren't going to be having this debt hang around for the next 30 years, are we? Nope. So if we want to make the same minimum payment every month or the minimum payment the bank says we need to pay every single month, in the end, it doesn't really matter. Because depending on the number of debts you have and the position of this debt in your debt snowball, you'll probably have paid this card off completely by the time that the amount you're paying every month is an issue. So will it really change things? Nope. So as I always say, just pick a plan and stick to it and you will get there. And someday both you and I will be debt free. 
So if you want to check out another one of my videos, there are two over here for you to look at. So go ahead and click and watch one of those and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.